this rave was your idea. I told you I'd get you, Scarlatti. Yeah, you told me. I'm going to show you who's running this racket. Before I'm through, I'm going to break you. Well, you're through right now. Don't forget the bulls. One's right in the next one. Mind if I join you? The scenery's kind of drab through here, and I thought you might enjoy a little friendly chat. I was enjoying the scenery. Oh, pull your punches, lady. Oh, you've got me all wrong. I just thought we might have a little friendly chat till the bus pulls into Torquoy City for lunch. Oh, I'm not so hard. My name's Sims. Martin Sims. I run a string of amusement places through here in California. Amusement places? Yes. You weren't looking for a job, were you? No. I was just making conversation. I dream of the old corral tonight. You hoo hoo. You hoo hoo. When the sun went to rest, that's the time I love best. When I would meet my gal, out in the sun there was work, there was fun, and, and riding and such. Tisn't the sun or the work or the that I'm a missing so much. I long for the old corral tonight. You hoo hoo, you hoo hoo, you hoo. Ain't the sound of the spurs, but a voice that was heard. Back in the old
Sure it wasn't your singing that made the horses run away, Sheriff? Might be. As a sheriff, Hortley makes a good canary. You ever done any singing? Why do you ask that? Oh, I was just thinking I might find a spot for you in one of my places. I could make it worth your while. Would you like to try? Uh, I'm afraid not. Just an idea. Sorry you won't go for it. You men will have to lend a hand here. All right, folks, take it easy. Nobody's going to get hurt. All right, boys. Isn't this thrilling? A real wild west holder. All right, Mr. Sims. So the O'Keefe boys turned out to be bandits. Swing for this. You've got no squawk of coming. There's only one difference between our game and yours. You don't ride a horse. How are you, Sheriff? Of course, you know I'll be on your trail as soon as I get my horse. We'll be a long ways from here by that time. Say, where's the key to them handcuffs? You don't want to release this man. Why not? Because I just arrested him for beating up his wife and kid. Oh, he did, did he? Come on, let's buy move. My good men, aren't you going to take our bags? No, thanks. We ain't molesting women. You might at least let me have your autograph. Lady, the last time I signed my name to anything, I got sued for breach of promise. Better get back on the bus, ladies. All right, men, the sooner we clear the road, the quicker we get back to Turquoise City. This is an outrage. I'm going to sue the bus line. Mr. Sims, do you know those fellows? Sure, I know them. So does the sheriff. Only he couldn't find his gun. He'll be behind bars before night. All right, men, let's clear this road. Just want to say goodbye, and I'm sorry you won't reconsider. Thanks. But I must go to Los Angeles. Come on in, Don. Somebody steals this key, so I never can let you out. Oh. Get your gun, Frog. We're going out to O'Keefe's ranch. Oh, boy, I bet we're going out to try some of Mo O'Keefe's good home cooking, huh? No, we're going out to arrest the O'Keefe's for highway robbery. Oh, uh, don't kid me. They couldn't even find a highway. Come on, I'll tell you about it on the way.
What are you looking for? Well, I can't find my gun. There it is. What's the idea of so many horses? It's an old Indian trick. The old Keiths have a long start into the mountains, and we'll need fresh horses before we catch up. One moment, driver. The little lady in the gray suit and the brown hat hasn't got aboard yet. She turned in a ticket when we got here. Well, isn't she going to Los Angeles? Not unless she walks. Thought you were on the bus. That girl didn't go out on it. No, but where is she? She's gone. Nonsense. It took me over an hour to locate her. And? Well, she hired old man Stodgrass to drive her out of town. What's up? Oh, she beat it. Well, there's plenty more girls. Not like her. That's the girl Scalati looking for. I've already sent him word if he wants to make a satisfactory deal, I could deliver her. You sent word to Scalati? I know what I'm doing. Come on, get your car. Where are we going? Up that hill before she gets out of the state. Kind of nervous, ain't you? Not at all. I was just anxious to get back to Phoenix. Well, if you ain't nervous, what do you look back so much for? You ain't running away from nothing, do you? No, I'm not. Then you are nervous. What you need is a good, quiet place to rest up for you. Get plenty of fresh air and three good meals a day, and nobody can find you. It does sound intriguing. Oh, there's trees up there, all right, and you like it. Besides, it ain't as far as Phoenix. I'll be home in time to milk the cows. You aren't by any chance taking me any place like that, are you? Well, Ma O'Keefe would be glad to have somebody keep her company. Did you say O'Keefe? Sure. The boys ain't home much and makes it quite lonesome for the old lady. But the O'Keefe's are bandits. They held up the bus this morning. Good voices, too. Once they tried to get on the radio. I ride along the dreaming of the western plains and the days I've spent along the Rio Grande. Dreaming of my saddle days and the pony I used to ride as I guard the herd before the... There they go. Change horses. What, again? Is this the loot? Yeah. Oh, heck, I thought it was sandwiches. I can't figure why you boys turned bandits. I heard you were lining up a radio act. Ah, oh, but that's the problem. So you were broke. You're a good guesser, Sheriff. Well, it's too bad you held up that bus. That comes under interstate transportation. Gonna catch your fence the same as holding up a train. Ah, oh, but ready to take her medicine. I'm ready to eat. Okay, Frog. Take him on down to jail. I'm gonna look over the old Keith Ranch and see if I can find Buck and Tom. We ain't far from the O'Keefe Ranch now. I'm 
so happy to know that. Where are those two fools? Come on, get on out here. Nothing up yet. You want something, mister? You seen anything of an old ramshackle car? Oh, it's not, not, not just yet. Oh, I had one. He traded it for two stacks of moldy hay and a, and a crisp, crippled goose. He's in no, a... no, that's not the one. Lum Busenbach had one last year, but he sold it. Oh, he doesn't reckon he don't mean no, reckon he don't mean no, he it out the Clem's Yes, that's the guy. How long ago did he pass? Oh, but yeah, yeah. Oh, gosh, we ain't seen Clem and I on the two weeks. He must have doubled back the other way toward Phoenix. There was the big black shiny car went by this morning. Yeah, we we, we never had any out in the camp to see who was in it. It looked like, it looked like old, old, you know. Well, sure move, though. I guess that's got her. It won't take long now, will it? No, not unless I forgot my tire wrench. That looks like him. Yep, I got my tire wrench, too. Maybe I can go or some tools from that fella. I'll flag him down. Got a tire wrench to fit my car, Miss Carlin? Sure. Oh. I think you're acting very foolish. Please, Mr. Sims, I... Won't you trust me? I'm only trying to be your friend. Then why are you following me? Because I know that you're heading straight for trouble. The police all over the country are looking for you. Scalati's looking for you. Wherever you go, you'll be in constant danger. Yes, I know. They very seldom get out of town newspapers in Turquoise City. There's hardly a chance of anyone knowing who you are except me. And you can depend upon me to keep your secret. Now, how about it? I don't understand why you want to do this for me. Because I like you, and I want to help you. Now, hop into our car like a good girl. Please, Mr. Finn, I'd rather go on my own. I appreciate your kindness, but I don't want to go back to Turquoise City. It looks like Sheriff Orker. You better let me do the talking. But what about my picture in the paper this morning? Oh, he didn't get a good look at it. Hi, Sheriff. Howdy. What's the trouble? No trouble at all. Mr. Snodgrass had a flat tire and hailed us to borrow a wrench. Yep, that's right. Didn't have no spare tire, didn't have no jack, didn't have no tire wrench. Looks like all you had was a little gas and a lot of faith. <laughs> I had this young lady for a passenger, and a darn pretty one, too. So I noticed on the bus this morning. You seem to be doubling back on your trail, Miss. It's Edward. Jane Edwards. Miss Edwards is to be our new entertainer at the Blue Moon. I think. You two ought to make a good duet. I suppose you've already got the O'Keefe's locked up. Between songs, Sheriff Ockley also finds a little time to Sheriff. Yes, and I have time to keep a watch on the Blue Moon, too. What do you mean by that? Your dealers haven't been giving the customers an even break. No, no. You're going to run on the level, or I'm going to close you up tighter than a drum. Hope you like our country, Miss Edwards. I think I shall. Hop in and let's get back to town. How about riding in with you? Well, how about your horse? Well, he'll go home all right. Won't you, champ? <laughs> right. Miss Edwards and I will ride in the rumble seat. Oh, my bag. I'll get it. Oh, here's your jack and ranch, Mr. Smartgrass. Can you imagine that? I 
Kind of looks like they left you all in the bag. It sure does. How long does it take to get this thing started? She's ready now. But we'll have to push it off the deck. after things around here there too. Where are you going? I'm on the trail for a bigger game than the O'Keefe's. Say, are you going to get married? When you see me heading for the blue moon, you know I'm not looking for a wife. educated to that type of music. Sing something they like and they'll eat it up. Well, what do they like? Something like in the heart of the West? Yes. Do you know that? Oh, yes, but... Then go out there and sing it for them. Song, you get a long time. Oh, and thanks for bringing my bag.
I didn't bring it to this world and I won't take it away. When hard luck overtakes me and everything goes wrong, I bear my burden with a smile and sing my little song. I never have to worry, I never wear a frown. And that's the way I'm always gay. I make the world go round. see how he could. But I'll be mighty relieved when I hear something from Scalati. News flash. Still no trace of the missing witness in the Pearl murder case. However, the police believe she's in hiding. Very Scarlatti's vengeance. Hey, Scarlatti, how much longer are we going to have to hide out in this job? We're sunk until Mike finds that Spencer. I think I got her located. You know? Where? Porky Garvis is due here now. I got a telegram from a guy out west.
are beginning a new era of prosperity in Turquoise City. Our welcoming celebration will include at 2 o'clock horse racing and radio at our fairgrounds. At 4 o'clock, our sheriff has arranged a musical concert right here in this plaza. Now to conclude our morning parade and dedication speeches, we have a few specialty numbers to entertain you. First and foremost will be a Spanish dance by Rita Gonzalez and Pedro Pena. for us this afternoon, won't you, Eleanor? What? Oh, I don't know, Jean. Oh, I... I won't take no for an answer. I'm depending on you. Then I will. Thanks. I'll call for you at three. you boys ready for the concert this afternoon? I'm sorry, Sheriff, but we changed the mind about going on your program. What? Well, it's this way, Sheriff. We've been rehearsing on some songs we thought three of us might do. But they're all flat without the other boys' instruments. And we've got to think about our uh, professional reputation. Huh? That's it. Now, if Buck and Tom are in jail here with us. Oh, I see. You can't sing without Buck and Tom. That's the idea, Sheriff. Well, I can fix that. What do you mean you can fix it, Sheriff? Well, I heard this morning Buck and Tom were seen up near the old corral. I'm going up to get them. You've got to have them. I guess you've got to have them. Drop that gun belt. Okay, boys. I didn't intend to use the gun anyway. Gentlemen. 
Hello. I seen you fellas drive up a while ago. Jazz band, huh? What does it look like? Jazz band. If you go right on down the street there, about ten blocks, you come to the plaza, and the sheriff's having a musical concert down there. And I know he'd be glad to have you fellas play something for him. Thanks. Oh, don't mention it. Uh, but tell him Frog sent you down, will you? Eighty-five cents. Where can I find Mr. Sims? You'll find him back in the office right now. Thanks. Get it? You two come with me. Which one of you is Sims? I am. Who's this mug? My partner, Mr. Garland. Oh, so you're both in on the shakedown. Shakedown? You heard me. Look here, I don't know who you are. What's more, I think you got a lot of nerve coming in here like this. One at a time, gents. My name is Mike Scarlatti. Scarlatti? Oh, sit down. Make yourself comfortable. I've been expecting to hear from you. Sit down. Let's get down to business. Why, now, just what sort of a deal had you in mind, Mr. Scarlatti? Well, listen, Mr. Smart Guy. You show me where I can find this Spencer girl, and I might not hurt you. That's the kind of a deal. That's the proposition. And if I don't happen to know where she is, then you'd better do some tall finding out. Listen, Bud, start talking. Say, whoever told you I know anything about that girl, give you a bum steer. Well, here's the right one. Let's hear what you have to say about it. Well, uh, I wasn't in on this thing. Oh, can it? Where's the girl? And, and if I tell you? You won't do anything to me? Maybe not. She's over at the plaza. They're having a celebration. She's going to sing. Good. But the sheriff's going to be with her. I will take care of him. Now listen here, you two wise guys. One word or one false move out of either of you, there won't be enough left of you to bury. What's the matter with you? Are you tired of living? Here's your chance to get rid of the sheriff. Where's the plaza? Down that way. All right. Take it easy.
Let's ride, boys. Give us a place. Something funny going on down there. Come on. Well, we got him. Yeah, it looks like they got you. Who? Your Keith boys. You're wrong, Jim. Yeah, how? The old Keith's pulled that hold up, trying to get enough publicity to get a radio job. We recovered the loot. Now that they helped me capture Scarlatti, I'm not holding him. Did you say Scarlatti? Yes, that's Mike Scarlatti. I saw him murder Tony Pearl in Pearl's nightclub. That's right. And now let's get back to town to finish our celebration. That's a good idea. First celebrating I'm going to do is lock up Sims and Garland for intimidating this witness. Take them away, Frog. For the old Pharrell tonight. You hoo you hoo you hoo. Ain't the sound of the spurs, but a voice that was. 